Water levels are still rising in parts of the Carolinas as residual rain from once Hurricane Florence push rivers over their banks. Some areas have not seen the worst flooding yet. Storm is blamed for killing at least 32 people and causing an estimated $22 billion in damage so far to hundreds of thousands of homes and businesses across the region. It's being called one of the worst storms in that area's history, and it follows an unusually violent and deadly 2017 hurricane season in which Harvey, Irma, and Maria all cause record-breaking damage. So if you feel like these storms get worse and worse every year, you would be right. Most scientists argue that climate change is to blame. The important thing to understand about hurricanes is that they only form over warm water. Because of climate change, the oceans are much warmer than they used to be. Florence is being powered by waters that are two degrees Celsius warmer than average. So that's a lot more energy going into the storm. The extra power is also fueling hurricanes for longer, which means the storm lingers over land, making flooding and storm surge worse. But while virtually the entire science community, at least 97 percent, according to a recent study, believes in and is sounding the alarm about climate change, the man with the most power to do something about it, not so much. All of this with the global warming and the, that, a lot of it's a hoax. It's a hoax. I mean, it's a money-making industry, okay? It's a hoax. A lot of it. Trump even once claimed, quote, the concept of global warming created by and for the Chinese. But he's done a lot more than just undermine the concept. Since taking office, the president and his administration have swept in like hurricane force winds, destroying past action aimed at limiting climate disruption, pulling out of the Paris Climate Accord, repealing the Clean Power Plan and the Clean Water Rule, and now putting out a plan to slash limits on car pollution, one of the biggest causes of rising temperatures. Problem is, while Trump is throwing in the paper towel on climate change, its effects aren't going anywhere. And the only real weather hoax may be this guy. In Wilmington, North Carolina, right at the Intercoastal, and we're in one of these bands. A Weather Channel reporter covering Hurricane Florence, pretending to struggle to stay standing in winds that don't seem to be affecting the two men behind him. But for climate change, the proof is in the rising floodwaters in the Carolinas. It was in the storm surge and destructive winds in Texas, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands, and was in the 2012 superstorm, Hurricane Sandy, which was just a few hours off from hitting Massachusetts during high tide, and according to experts, would have left a third of our city underwater if it had. So while Hurricane Donald blows the winds of change in the wrong direction, the evidence against him is mounting as are the floodwaters in the Carolinas. What do you think? Email us, tweet us, share your thoughts.